Welcome back to Mountain Connections. Very excited to have this duo here with us today. They are all about powering you with your business and more. We have Kale Goodman and Trevor Cowley here on the couch. Thanks so much, both of you, for being here this morning. Yeah, it's our and pleasure. You made it up the yeah, canyon from barely. Salt Lake. <laughs> about, you know, we were going 11, 12 miles an hour half the time, but we got here, so happy to be here. Well, we appreciate you making the effort to come up here to be on our show this yeah. morning. Excited for this conversation. Tell yeah. me a little bit about your background and what you're doing right now together. Go ahead, you want me to go first? Yeah, well, go ahead. Um, our background know. is we're sales guys. You know, yeah. we, we actually met each other working at a telemarketing uh, call center clear when back we in kids. 2001, yeah. 2002. So um, we've, we've had a lot of years together, but um, our paths drifted for quite a while. And I went into the tax and accounting industry and Trev went into some other sales directions and somehow ended up coming back to work for me. And uh, after years of working together and seeing his strengths of, as a leader and as a manager, um, it was more worthwhile for me to say, hey, man, let's partner up and continue to grow these business ventures and these ideas that we have. And so it's turned into a really strong partnership over the years. So Yeah, we, we, we co-own you know, five businesses currently. And then we have the Real Business Owners Instagram page and podcast that we set up about 10 months ago. So we've grown to about 70,000 followers within about 10. So it's just kind of exploding you know, much faster than what we expected. But we're just talking about our business experience, the struggles that we've gone through. And I think, you know, on Instagram or social media, people get caught up in showing the end results so much, you know, the, the, the fancy things after they've gone through the process, when what we focus on is the process, the struggles that you have to go through to actually get the results. And I think that's what, what kind of makes us different, you know? Yeah. Yeah, we've got, we've got a lot of people that re reach out to us, DM yeah. us, tell us what kind of difference we're making in their life. Because there's a huge entrepreneurial community out yeah. there. And they're, you know, people just hear all the sales, fluffy things and get sold a dream. And so it's just refreshing for us to be real with them. And yeah. they really appreciate that. It's so. been awesome. So you don't just talk the talk. You walk the walk. You have mm -hmm. multiple businesses yeah. and you've come together to help counsel people who are entrepreneurs, to help yeah. them on their business journey. Is that correct? Yeah. So at this point, you know, there's a lot of people online that, that, that do coaching and mentoring and, and all that. And, and we plan on eventually, you know, gravitating towards that. And that's not what our initial goal was. You know, our initial goal was just to give good information that, that was valuable to people. And people were vibing it so much so that they were, can we find you guys on YouTube? Could we find do you guys have a podcast? And we kind of looked at each other. We didn't have a YouTube channel or a podcast. And so we were like, should we start a <laughs> podcast? They want more. And so we started a podcast and then, you know, we get messages all the time. Hey, I need coaching or mentoring. And so it's, it's, it's not us doing it. It's kind of the people wanting us to do it. So we'll gravitate towards that yeah. eventually, but we are operating real businesses, right? So that's, you know, that, that's, that's what keeps the lights on right now. And so we're not necessarily going to take away from our companies to try to focus on that full time or you know spend too much time on that right now. Yeah. So we're in the process of putting people in place to operate our companies currently. And so we can kind of slowly pull back and, and, and focus a little bit more on coaching or mentoring at, at one point or another. We don't know how soon or that's gonna ultimately end up happening. Well, the goal, but, yeah, the goal yeah. originally was just put real information yeah. out because everything, I mean, we, we see it, we hear it in, yeah. the, in the media and online and we see the programs that are being sold online and all the marketing push towards yeah. those and it's all fake information, it's not real. Yeah. You know, the get rich quick schemes. Yeah, and make do, money, you know? you know, get rich in six months or overnight. And it, I mean, it takes a lot of time and a lot of effort. There's a three to five year sacrifice period that nobody really talks about. You know, it feels like you're pounding your head against the wall and you're not, you're not making any progress and you, you, you won't be making progress for three to five years. You know, it's all front loaded. And so that we, we, we like to highlight that stuff to give proper expectations. If they have proper expectations going into it, their probability of getting through it will be greater. Well, it sounds like your authenticity is what people are really yeah. drawn to and your business, it's evolving yeah. to help people on their way, which is very impressive. You're very honest. I yeah. saw an Instagram post about 
how you're encouraging businesses not just to focus on sales. Sales yeah. seems like the quick way to make money, but yeah. if you're not focusing on what is behind the sales, you're gonna fail. So it's yeah. things like that that people mm -hmm. are really resonating with. Yeah. You well, that took us a long time to figure out too, because yeah. originally in our business models, it was, you know, sell, create revenue, and, yeah. and, and we did that for a number of years, and, and it works to grow your business and get it to a certain point, but if you really wanna build a, a business that's gonna compound into something big, yeah. which is what we want, you know, we had to figure out that we got to really create an experience for our customers. We got to create a really solid process for our customers yeah. so that they feel that value from start to finish so that not only are we going out and continuing to sell, but our customers are now selling yeah. for us too. Word yeah. of mouth marketing is still the best thing that you can do for your business if you really want to hit those peak levels. Yep. And it's this advice that people are really appreciating and that's what they'll find on your Instagram account, on your podcast yeah. Yeah. and more. Yeah, no, we've had people reach out to us and say, I've got more from your podcast than a lot of paid uh, programs that I've gone through, right? Just the free information and the value that you guys are giving on the podcast. I've never seen anything given like that for free before. And so that, I mean, it definitely, uh, you know, money fills up your bank account, but impact fills up your soul. And it actually feels good to get messages like that, that we know we're making an impact on on these entrepreneurs because we know how difficult it is, you know? So to be able to kind of be a guiding light through that process, you know, it, it does feel good. So maybe it's, you know, maybe we're doing it a little bit for us and pumping our own ego up a little bit. The fact that we're able to help and, and, and how good it feels to actually help people and give back, you know. But it's the two of you being honest yeah. about your journey. Yeah. And one thing that I'm impressed about, something that you did, which I think exemplifies your whole attitude within your businesses and being an entrepreneur, is you're having a hard time finding a good accountant. So you created an accounting yeah. company. Yeah, you just, yeah why not make something that works for us? And that's yeah. exactly what you did. Well, entrepreneurs are problem solvers, mm -hmm. right? So if you wanted to get a massage at nine o'clock at night and you're calling everywhere and there's no place to get a massage, you're probably not the only person that wants to get a massage late at night. So maybe you should start something to where somebody can go get a massage at nine o'clock at night. See what I'm saying? So the idea is solve your own problems and then make it available to other people. And that's really the heart of entrepreneurship is just solving people's problems, you know? And so that we, is, we that solved our we own did. problem, yeah. yeah, so. Well, Easier Accounting is, was formed to kind of be more of an accounting firm built by entrepreneurs for entrepreneurs because, yeah. man, that whole system, accounting's broken, man. People yeah. do what they can, the best they can all year long, but they're not tax experts, so they're keeping records best they can. They take everything to their tax guy at the end of the year. It's the worst time of year for him because he's busy. Everyone's bombarding him, so he's just going to do the best he can and push you out the door or you know, call you when it's done to come pick up your taxes. And man, it just doesn't work. If you're not a tax expert and you're just taking what you know to a tax expert and he's just doing what you bring him, it's just broken. So yeah. our, whole, our whole vision and goal was like, man, let's get, um, give entrepreneurs what they really need, work with them, give them great communication all year long, stay on top of things all year long. So at the end of the day, tax time is a breeze and yeah. there's not yeah. missed deductions. There's not missed things that are costly. Yeah. solve the problem so you can yeah. move on and focus on the heart of your businesses. Yeah. Yeah. So you have all these businesses, you're coming together to provide incredible advice for individuals. Where do you see the future? Where do you wanna be in five years? Um, you know, we, we wanna to get to the point where we, our, our heart and soul is entrepreneurship. And, and, and again, giving back does feel good and, and we want to work very closely with entrepreneurs. You know, that's where our heart is and we've, we've slowly found that out. As we own an accounting firm, we're on the phone with entrepreneurs all the time. And so when we get on the phone with them, we're like, look, you know, my guess is, is your accountant's not giving you good communication. You're not getting on time. We already know what their problem is before uh, they even have to tell us what the problem is, right? And so that resonates with them so much so that we are the end customer. And so when we're able to, you know, work with entrepreneurs, it, it feels good because there's we, we get each other, right? And so um, I, I see ourselves in five to 10 years, you know, speaking on stages, uh, throwing our own events, doing whatever we can to be a part of the entrepreneurship community and just bringing as much value as we possibly can to that community. Absolutely. How can we find more information about the two of you? Find your podcast, your Instagram account. Where can we get more? So we're on Facebook, we're on Instagram, we're on YouTube. It's all under Real Business Owners. Uh, we are on you know iTunes podcast, Spotify podcast, again, under Real Business Owners. So you can go to Google and just Google Real Business Owners and uh, 
it'll pull up or you can go to again instagram facebook or youtube perfect <laughs> well thank you so much yeah. trevor and kale for braving yeah. the elements and being here today yeah no it's been awesome definitely thank you. have been inspired and i can tell that you have a lot of passion for business and yeah. helping many entrepreneurs yeah we look forward to it so thanks thank for having you. us yeah, thanks for being here all right check out at real business owners online you can find lots of great information their instagram account is full of really interesting tidbits of great advice also they have podcasts and more so check them out want to thank them both for being here today we have more coming up right after this stay tuned